Hi everyone, uh, Woody here. Um, I'm a member of the uh, Q group on Yahoo and um, we uh, exchange information between ourselves and uh, I'm known as Woody's One Man Band, I'm also known as the Fellow of the Ukulele. Um, I just thought I'd give you an example tonight of, um, in my little garage here of how I use the Q in a one man band setting. Um, Traditionally, uh, my one-man band is, of course, uh, based on a, a drum system which is uh, attached to my back. Um, but, of course, if I'm entertaining the elderly, or indeed if I'm um, doing uh, uh, a gig where people um, require some sort of um, dancing, dance music, a one-man band isn't necessarily suited to that. And that's where the cue comes into its own. Great little instrument. And um, he says, great little instrument. And I, but I find that as an instrument, it's uh, somewhat um, uh, limited in its visual appeal, because all, all you're doing is literally sitting there pressing buttons. So because of my one-man band background, I've come up with uh, simple little ways Simple little ways of enhancing it. I'll give you an example. Nice little jazz violin style. Now, I'm not going to sing anyone's songs tonight, or not anyone else's anyway. Because of course we don't want any copyright problems. So what can the audience see? Well, they can see movements. They can hear a few different sounds. I can talk to them. And of course... Now obviously if you're going to use this sort of thing you've got to make sure that uh, everything is where you need it. So for example on my left hand side I'll normally have things I can grab quickly. Here's a kazoo. Kazoo you can play with your, uh, with your mouth obviously. Uh, the great thing uh, about that um, particular um, instrument is I've added a funnel to it. So I'm looking for something that I've lost. I've added a funnel to it. There it is. And I've also added um, a bit of hose that just makes it look a bit interesting. Um, but obviously if I'm going to play a, a stringed instrument, then I will uh, use my mouth truss. So I've got my harmonica, little whistles, and a standard version of a kazoo. But other things you can use, um, I, I, I love things like this which is a, an oil filler. If you're in the States, uh, many of your audiences will be familiar with the old jug bands. And uh, here in the UK, of course, we love our tea. And this is a teapot, which is great for making tuba sounds. So those are to my right, because I'm right-handed. Also, you can play the cue and use the spoons. Or you can use metal ones. I won't use metal ones tonight because they tend to interfere with the sound. But if we set the cue at, say, um, style 22, which is bluegrass, I'll give you a bit of a demonstration using some of this stuff. Um, on my right foot, I have a washboard and a suitcase, which, again, I'll try not to use tonight because it tends to interfere with the sound. And any of you that have got my CD of Q music will have heard the tambourine, which I play with my left foot. But again, as I say, I'll try not to.
Now, if I want to um, play a stringed instrument, what I have is a, a similar sort of stick as the one I wear on my wrist, attached to whichever stringed instrument I'm playing, guitar, ukulele, uh, mandolin, in this case a, a ukulele. <laughs> 